Hey filmmaker Shung here. In this video, I'm releasing the automated like leak preset. So here we go. So it's a quite heavy effect. So it's basically making this light leak kind of effect. And let's turn off actually the background. So this is the effect without anything under it. And it goes to like one minute with the keyframes that I've set it. But it's a heavy effect to play like directly and smoothly. So because it's generating moving objects to look, make it look like it's a light leak. The only thing it doesn't have is like a real light leak uh, effect with that it has like a transitional spots where it's like overblown and you can use it as a transition but you can use a uh, dissolve to white to mimic that actually to get this preset there'll be a link in the description below you will go to my website and this is the most important part because there behind it is the download link if you are subscribed please press on the other buttons uh, like the share tweet so other people get to know about these presets and also my other works and presets so after you press like tweet share or follow or um, like you will unlock the download button and then when you download it unzip the file then go to premiere pro go to your effects tab then your preset and right mouse on it and choose import preset it'd be in the folder called cd auto light leak and there'd be a a and a b version and they are with a keyframe that lasts for one minute you can make it last longer but um, yeah you have to f also do a few things so let's show you how to achieve this effect so first thing is go to your project tab and here below choose black video to make a black video I've already got one here and we copy another one on top go to effects tab and then put A on top and B below it and there we go we have the light leak effect and then you can actually go and choose colors what you want you can actually change the colors here at tint you can make this like a blue or like pink or green all depending on what you like uh, only thing you do have to know it's the color will um, mix in with each other so if they one color is like darker or close to the other they kind of blend together become like uh, another color especially like with the yellow here if we put a blue on top it kind of becomes green instead of yellow and get like really odd look but if you instead of using yellow or and have like a closer color with like the blue like pink then you have like pink and blue but that is a bit too odd of a color match and actually pink with red is a better nicer combination I have to say this is a heavy effect and my computer is not running this totally smooth but yeah this is a pretty nice uh, yeah effect it's not 100% like a light leak but it's similar to it to change the speed of the animation you have to go to here you can already see when I scroll through it this number here is changing because that is uh, what is making the movement so to 
actually make it go faster go to the last keyframe and then make this bigger uh, give it like a bigger number here uh, before the X and um, yeah you can also make it last longer by moving the last keyframe much further down the timeline that was mainly it if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more upcoming videos please subscribe and if you have any questions or any suggestions please comment below and i'll see you the next time bye bye